Hi, I'm Carolee. I'm autistic and I have ADHD. That means I have some difficulties with trying different clothes and especially adapting to different seasons. My favorite things to wear are jeans and sweaters, but that's just not going to cut it during the summer. So I want to share with you some of the outfits and sensory friendly clothing that I wear during the summer that have definitely made me a little bit more comfortable with this changing season. Step one is to get hair out of face. I really like to use these tiny little claw clips to just pin the front pieces out of my face just to cool off and make myself a little bit more comfortable. So many options for styling and I love them. These like little bow scrunchies are perfect for summer and when I'm like not really dressing up I'm just going to be wearing like t-shirts and stuff like that and made, and for the most part be putting my hair up because it's so hot I cannot handle having my hair down during the summer. These come in handy so much. I love having something to like just tie up my hair up with that's like cuter than like a regular scrunchie or elastic and you know just like kind of like gives me a little bit of extra something you know. You can tie it in a lot of different ways like I sometimes do a low bun, sometimes I do a high bun, doesn't matter but I just really like having some cute hair accessories to add in during the summer. It's one of my recent favorites. I think the brand is um, Scunsy and this is called the Octopus Clip. Like you can see it has like tentacle like claws on it so it's not just like a regular claw clip but um, it grips like all the way into your hair but it's like it doesn't hurt and it has like these little like grippy things in them where you can't feel it. It's like a silicone type of like grip thing. Um, you can't really feel it once it's in your hair, but it just makes my hair like really really like secure and I don't have to fix it It doesn't fall and it's just so easy to like just take my hair and put it up in this thing and Like I am done And it's comfortable to wear but it's so secure and I don't have to worry about my hair falling out. So if you want to get one of these Definitely do it. Um, you can also wear these while working out. I actually did um, like a strength day where I wore this for an hour and it did not mess up my hair at all Like even if I like did like curl and style my hair when I put this in and like and then let it down after a workout It doesn't mess up my hair. So like my style will stay intact as well. So Definitely love this. I know like I'm raving about a hair clip, but this is like one of the best things I have purchased recently All right now that the hair accessories are covered. We're going to move on to the outfit so my first tip is to go with like longer length shorts, um, lightweight pants. Um, I know these are not a light color, but they're very like lightweight and thin, and so I can wear them in the heat. And then like longer um, skirts, because I don't like the way short shorts feel. The reason why is because I don't like my legs rubbing together and like sweating in between. That creates a sensory issue for me. And also like when I sit down on furniture or say if I were like going outside to a park or something, like sitting down on a bench, like. That just feels so uncomfortable on my legs. I don't want to feel any like furniture or the elements on my legs, if that makes sense. If you have sensory issues, you probably know short shorts are kind of annoying when you have to like sit down and feel the senses or things annoying you on your legs. So that's why I tend to go with longer lengths. So I'll show you a couple of outfits that I like to put together with longer lengths, shorts and skirts. All right, so the first um, outfit is these like roll cuff Bermuda shorts. I feel like just last year people were making fun of these shorts and now they're back in style. But I've always liked these type of shorts, always will, will probably always keep them in my closet. Um, I like how they reach like all the way down to the knee because like if I sit down I'm not going to like feel like anything annoying on my skin, just going to feel the shorts. So I like that and so and then I paired it with this um, white the Goonies t-shirt. I like to, I think t-shirts are like a cute way to express yourself like if you have a favorite movie. Or, you know, something that you're into, like special interest, you can wear your t-shirt. That's a good way to be expressive with your fashion, even if you're just dressing casual, wearing a t-shirt and shorts. And then I also have my checkered bands to go with it. And that is a comfortable, sensory-friendly outfit number one. All right, outfit idea number two is to kind of, like, wear, um, like, very, like, lightweight fabrics. You can even, like, still wear black and still, like, feel nice and comfortable and stay cool. And I like these shorts because they kind of basically feel like a shorter version of like drawstring sweatpants, which I really like. And I just like that they're kind of like adding a pop of color, adding something to my style, but they're very, very like breathable and comfortable and they're like at the length that I like. And I can either pair these with my Vans or with sandals, just like depending on what I'm wearing. But I feel like these go with my outfit really, really well for like the really, really hot days where I live. 
it can get up to over like 110 degrees, sometimes like almost 120 degrees where I live. So it's nice to have outfits like this that are like super lightweight and like very hot weather friendly. All right, next outfit is kind of similar to these shorts. These are just like the pants version, but they're like super lightweight and really comfortable and breathable. So if you have a day like where you're like going to work or you're just not comfortable like wearing shorts and you want to wear pants, I really suggest getting some like really lightweight pants because it feels like really nice and comfortable and cool, way cooler than jeans. And I just pair it with like this like happy, brighter type of um, t-shirt that has a cute like floral print on it. So I feel a little bit more bright in summary, but I definitely feel comfortable like wearing this to work or on a day where I just don't want to wear shorts. And then I kept the clock hooked in. And so that's my next outfit idea. The item that I want to show is this like very, very soft, flowy midi skirt. It's super thin, super lightweight. So great for those super hot days. And then you can just like pair a t-shirt with it or you can put like put on a dressier blouse. Maybe if you're going to like some type of summer party, graduation maybe, um, you can wear this. And I also like the length of it again because it is covering my legs so when I sit down I'm not going to feel like any furniture or anything touching my legs besides the skirt and then you can make it more casual or dress it up if you want to. So this is probably my favorite type of clothing of all time. You can wear these like year round depending on what layers you wear but I especially like them in the summer. Jumpsuits and rompers or overalls they are so perfect especially because I just feel like so like flowy and free in them. Like you can move around, you can practice your TikTok dances in this, like you can go walking, you can even like dress it up or down. I just like how versatile they are and how like free and comfortable they make me feel. So definitely wearing jumpsuits, rompers, overalls, whatever you want to call them all summer long. This is a super fun one. This is an actual 90s romper that I thrifted a while back and I love it so much. I still feel like, you know, nice and free. I love the, like the movement of it. I love the longer length shorts, but I feel just because like 90s are so on trend right now wearing this with like the brown claw clip, I feel like I am the epitome of 90s fashion. I just feel like so cute and comfortable in this and it's like keeps me very, very cool. It's not heavy at all. All right, next outfit. I know some, it might be hard to like see the details in the camera, but this is not only a floral print, but it also has like little like lady, ladybugs on it and it's like really cute. Plus I'm just like obsessed with these overalls. They're from Loft. These are actually like my newest overalls to the collection and I love them so much. I love the flowiness of the pants. I love the tie waist and like this little like neckline detail and how it looks so cute with a t-shirt underneath it because I really don't like things that are um, like open or low cut because I have a chest tattoo um, that we don't like to talk about. We don't like to acknowledge so I'm just going to leave it there. But I just feel like yes in this. And another one. Alright, next thing is very similar to the loft overalls. This is the, the dress version, so it's almost the exact same thing, but in a pink dress. But it's just really comfortable, really lightweight. It kind of just feels like I'm wearing a long t-shirt and it has pockets, so what's not to love? Plus this color. I really don't have anything else that's this bright pink color, so I'm really happy about it. Alright, now we're on to my least favorite part, but I'm trying to get into it. And so this is a one-piece swimsuit from Cuffshe. What I usually just don't like about swimwear in general is that I feel naked in it and I just don't like the feeling of like feeling naked. I don't want to feel the elements on my skin. I don't want to feel things touching my skin. So like I feel more comfortable wearing clothes. So growing up I would pretty much always just wear like my brother's basketball shorts and a big t-shirt for swimwear. I never really had cute swimsuits or anything but I'm trying to get into it. So this is the one-piece swimsuit but I still feel a little too naked on the bottom, so I'm going to pair it with some, a swim skirt and then I have some swim shorts to make it like a swim outfit. So here's my swim outfit idea. Um, now I feel like I'm wearing something, I'm wearing clothes. I don't feel like I'm like super naked out there in a bikini and I just feel like a little bit more secure in this. And plus there's like no annoying like straps or strings. It's when I tried like other one piece swimsuits, like you know, like the halter top or like the string adjustments are just super annoying. So I like that this is like a zip front and like I can't really feel the zipper because it's lying inside. So this feels overall really really comfortable. Plus I got this like little wrap skirt. This is just from Amazon and it ties here and I just think this is really cute and it makes me excited to want to go out and go swim. Alright here's just like one more option. Instead of doing the skirt I would just pair it with these, um, these swim shorts. I think these are like really cute and it looks like I'm just like wearing maybe like a sporty outfit. 
instead of um, like a regular swimsuit that I really like that it kind of just goes more with my style personally and my comfort. All right now it is time to talk about how we are protecting ourselves um, not just with our clothes but we need to be protecting our eyes with some sunglasses. I usually buy the cheapest ones I can find to be honest. Um, these are from Dee Dee's. I got them for four dollars. Sometimes I buy them like at Family Dollar. You know sometimes you buy them at a gas station five bucks. It's always good to have some so I think you can even buy like multi-packs on Amazon but having um, multiple sunglasses like maybe a pair to keep in your car or I like to hang some like on my um, key holder so they're like hanging there when I grab my keys so I can remember to take them because I really struggle with like migraines and photo sensitivity so uh, having my sunglasses on is essential. Next let's talk about sunscreen. My favorite one is this Sunbum one. I like it because it doesn't um, have like a really harsh smell. It doesn't, uh, yeah, it's not like heavily fragranced. And it also doesn't leave like a greasy feeling on my skin. It dries down like as soon as you rub it in and it works really, really well. Next is this um, Buzz Away Extreme. This is like a plant-based um, mosquito repellent. So it does have a smell like it's made from some essential oils. Like it has geranium oil, soybean oil, cedar wood, citronella, peppermint, and lemongrass. So it does have a scent to it which is what helps keep the mosquitoes away but it doesn't like kill them and it's not killing you with like the toxic smell and not having like that extreme chemical smell really helps me um so I, this is why i prefer this one and my last thing that i usually use is deodorant um growing up like the only like women's deodorants um that were available were like powder fresh or like baby powder scented or like this like very artificial floral smelling one and I just really didn't like any of those and so like I would usually wear like men's deodorant but um, once I started getting into like buying cruelty free and vegan products I really started to like Schmitz because they kind of use scents that aren't as like traditional so this one is bergamot and lime and because it's summer it kind of makes me feel like I smell like a like a lime popsicle but if you don't like scents you can get an unscented one so I really like this one and you can let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite deodorants if you don't like those like traditional like powder fresh or shower fresh whatever shower fresh means um scents um let me know but i really like this lime all right everyone thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you got some like sensory friendly tips outfit ideas whatever you needed thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video